Hey folks, Ira here. Hope you've had a great Saturday. Thanks for tuning in for the Earthquake Report. Today is March the 12th, 2016. Today is also known as Girl Scout and Plant a Flower Day. Did you know that? Meh, me neither. Anyways, in this video, we are going to speak quickly about the earthquakes we have experienced yesterday, March the 11th, and then we will review the swarm of activity we have been presented with today. Friday was a fairly active day all in all. We clocked in 207 earthquakes. This brought our monthly total to 2,245. The strongest earthquakes experienced originated just outside of Tonga and Morocco, both being a 5.3. The Ring of Fire saw a series of magnitude 4.0s. The Solomon Islands saw a 4.9. Fiji was struck with a 4.8. Papua New Guinea saw a 4.7. And Japan was shaken by a 4.4. If we head over to South America, we'll see that Chile was once again hit, this time around with a 4.8, and even San Francisco del Mar in Mexico saw a 4.7. Not to be left out, Peridon also experienced a 4.5. Speaking of Mexico, I think it's pretty interesting that just how consistent this area is when it comes to earthquake intensity. If we look at the earthquake data over the past 30 days, we'll see that they experienced a 4.7, a 4.5, a 4.7, a 5, a 5, a 4.2, and a 4.1. There simply isn't much of a variance there. It's pretty wild. If we focus on the states, we'll see that Oklahoma was rocked by a 3.0 in Cushing. Chandler experienced a noteworthy 2.7, and Fairview saw 4, which averaged no more than a magnitude 1.6. California was mostly quiet as well, with only 123 earthquakes being registered, the most intense being a 2.3 that struck the San Pedro area. Finally, let's take a look at Alaska. They clocked in only 22 earthquakes yesterday. All were minor, with a 3.1 ruling the roost in Cantwell. Now, let's transition to today's activity by once again focusing on Alaska. As of 7.18 p.m. Eastern Time, we have nearly doubled the number of earthquakes in this area. They have experienced 40 thus far, with Atka being absolutely hammered. They experienced a 6.3 earlier today, along with a 5.4. Not only that, but they have also seen a series of 4s as well. With that being said, for those of you in and around the area, brace yourself for aftershocks within not only the next few hours, but days and even weeks from now. Akka just so happens to be our location of interest today. As of the 2010 census, they have a population of around 60. Isn't that amazing? The total area of this location is no more than roughly 36 miles, so it's pretty tiny. This area is not only prone to earthquakes, but also volcanic eruptions. In fact, just 10 years ago, the Korovin volcano erupted. You see, this area is a seismic hot zone as the Pacific Plate subducts into the mantle beneath the North American Plate. It is this subduction that is responsible for the generation of the Aleutian Islands and the Aleutian Trench. So. This isn't the only area today to be rocked by powerful earthquakes. The globe, in fact, has been alive with intense movement. Get this, we experienced a 5.6 in the Philippines. Chile was hit with a 5.2. The Strait of Gibraltar was shaken with two 5.2 earthquakes. It's funny, this area has really been active lately, right there along with Greece. And speaking of which, Greece experienced a 4.7 in Palashara. All this activity alludes to one thing, movement of the Arabian and the Eurasian plates. We'll definitely continue to watch this area closely. Altogether, we have experienced six earthquakes that fell within the magnitude 5 range. We have seen nine earthquakes that fell within the magnitude 4 category. The Redoubt Volcano in Alaska was once again struck, this time around with a 4.9. Hachijojima, Japan, experienced a 4.6, and China saw a 4.8. If we look at the United States, we'll discover that Ojai, California was struck with a 4.1 earlier today. Since then, we have experienced 11 aftershocks, all averaging a magnitude 2.0. That's pretty wild. Oklahoma has been really quiet once again. Only three earthquakes experienced for the day thus far. Enid taking the brunt of the action with a 3.1. Hawaii has been a busy lady with four earthquakes today all of which were a 2.9. Now, before we wrap up this video, we'd like to throw a shout out to our friend, Ben Herrett. We discussed just the other day that he discovered that the USGS was not reporting all of the earthquake activity 
in Oregon and Washington. And it's really funny that he mentioned that because I too discovered that they were not reporting all earthquakes that have been rattling the California area, specifically off the coast. With that being said, can you guys suggest an alternate source for earthquake data? All right, and that is it for the earthquake report. If you experienced an earthquake today, or if you would like to simply chat, please comment down below. We like to hear from you. Make certain to like and subscribe, share if you feel inclined. Also, if you like the social media thing, you can link to us via the standard allotted social sites in the description. We'll end this report with a video feed from our favorite star. Have a great night, guys. Hoorah!